is up you guys my name is Selena and today is going to be a tutorial showing you guys how to do this text tracking video animation effect and we're going to be doing this in After Effects. So I have this New York City skyline footage and basically you want to use a clip that has a very stabilized footage. This wouldn't work if your footage is really shaky or else it's not going to be super easy to track. Okay so once you have your clip you're going to want to make your new shape so let's go up to the pen tool and you want to keep your fill at none so you can press the word fill and then make that that red dash and then you're going to have the stroke to whatever color you want so I'm keeping it at this yellow color and then you just want to use that pen tool to create a little line and then we're going to go to the rectangle tool and then make sure that we make a rectangle that kind of touches that line. Okay, so now if we look back at it, it has a nicely shaped rectangle with a line on it. And then if you go up to the stroke, you can actually adjust this number so that the lines are bigger or smaller. But I like to keep it at 6. Okay, so once you created that shape, we're going to go to Layer, and then we're going to create a new text. Okay, so now you can basically just type up your text, and I'm just going to say New York City. But you can just say whatever location you want, or like a certain building or something. I don't know the name of that building, so yeah. And I actually made the text match the color of the shape layer. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pre-compose this just so that we'll, it'll be easier to work with. So I'm just gonna select both the shape layer and the text and then right click and then press pre-compose and now it's gonna just make another composition, but we'll go back to our regular composition and you can see that both of the two clips combined to make one layer. So now I'm going to go to effects, and now this is optional, but I'm just going to add a drop shadow so you can kind of see the text better, but that is totally optional. Okay, so now for the actual tracking, we're going to go to window, and then we're going to open up the tracker panel. So now our tracker panel comes out, and then we're going to go to our movie clip, and then we're going to track motion. Okay, so now you're going to try to find a place in the video that kind of stands out from everything. So for example, this part of the building will stand out because it's like kind of a different color from everything else in the video I guess and yeah you just want to find a point in the video that kind of is contrasted against everything else or just like stands out and then you can just adjust the rectangle so that it's on that target and the bigger the rectangle the longer it'll take to track but it'll also track it more accurately Okay, so once you've made your little two rectangles you're gonna go to that play button and then press play so that it will track everything. So we're just going to track the point throughout the whole video. So now you can see that the tracking is just following the building and it's going pretty well, which is why having a smooth stabilized clip like this one is going to work best for tracking. Okay, now we're going to go to layer and new null objects. So we're going to create a new null. So now what we're going to do is go to our tracking and we're going to press edit target and then we're going to change that to the null 3 object that we created. And then we're going to go and just press apply and press OK. So now all the keyframes that we made in the tracking process is on our null object. So if I press U, you can see the, all the same keyframes for positioning. So I'm just going to bring that to the second line. Okay, so now you want to move your pre-composed layer and make sure that it's exactly where you want to have it so I'm just pointing it at the building yeah you can point it whatever you want but point it where you want to have it for the whole video and then we're gonna go to the parent pick whip tool and just parent that to our null object so now if you watch it back it's just gonna be following the building and it's doing a pretty good job okay so now to add a little bit of a special little animation we can go to our pre-composed layer and then we can go to our shape layer and we're just gonna animate the trim paths. We're gonna go press the drop down for the shape layer and then we're gonna press that add and then press trim paths. So now if we just adjust the start, you can see that the lines sort of animate. So at the beginning of the clip, we're gonna keep it at 100 and then press the keyframe button and then go just a little bit forward and then change that to zero so that it appears. So now if we watch it back, it sort of appears like that. And I think it looks pretty cool. So there's also a bunch of different ways you can kind of animate this. So you can play around with all of the adding tools. And I also have a video on how you can animate some shapes and stuff. So I'll link that in the description. But I'm just going to adjust the New York City text to pop up in the middle of the animation. 
so it'll look a little bit more smooth. And also whatever you change in the pre-composed composition will affect your actual composition, which is this one. We, because we added that little text effect, it'll pop up in this composition. And yeah, I think it looks pretty cool and it just tracks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.